All right, gather around, folks. Let me spin you a tale of love that'll leave you on the edge of your seat, yearning to know what happens next. Once upon a time in the bustling city of New Orleans, there was this wild and passionate couple, Nico and Ruby. Nico was a blues musician with a heart that beat in sync with the rhythm of the city, while Ruby was a free-spirited artist who saw colors in every beat of the music. They were a match made in the cacophony of the French Quarter. Nico and Ruby were inseparable, painting the town red, or should I say, every color in the palette. They'd often be found at this dimly lit jazz joint, where Nico would strum his guitar and Ruby would dance her heart out. It was a dance of souls, you know, the kind that leaves you breathless. But as fate would have it, one day, Ruby got an offer to showcase her art in a prestigious gallery in New York City. It was a dream come true, but it meant leaving behind the soulful melodies of New Orleans and her beloved Nico. Distance can either make or break love, and in their case, it was the ultimate test. They tried the long distance thing, but the heartache was real. The late night calls and the occasional visits were like a band-aid on a deep wound. Time passed, and the gap grew wider. Nico poured his emotions into his music, writing heart-wrenching blues that echoed his pain. And Ruby, she channeled her longing into her art, creating masterpieces that seemed to scream for their lost love. Years went by, and they both achieved success in their respective fields, but something was amiss, a void that no amount of fame or recognition could fill. And then, out of the blue, Ruby's gallery decided to organize an exhibition in New Orleans. The moment came when Ruby stood in front of her latest creation, a piece that captured the essence of her love for Nico, a mix of colors and sounds, a painting that sang the blues. The opening night was electric, and there, in the crowd, she saw him, Nico, looking like a ghost from the past, a mix of joy and sorrow in his eyes. Their eyes met, and time stood still. It was as if the whole world disappeared, and it was just the two of them, lost in a melody only they could hear. They both knew what needed to be done. Ruby left her gallery fame and Nico, his beloved blues, and they decided to start anew, this time in New York City, where their hearts had first drifted apart. Their love story was a roller coaster, a symphony of highs and lows, but love triumphed in the end. So, my friends, whether they lived happily ever after or faced more trials and tribulations, well, that's a story for another time. But I bet you're dying to know, aren't you?